Hello friends. And in this video I will tell you about the main reasons why the leaves turn yellow on tomatoes. I will tell you and show you the yellowing itself, as well as tell you what yellowing of leaves is not terrible for your seedlings, and what you need to do. I will also tell you what yellowing requires urgent processing of your tomatoes. These are my tomatoes that I grow in a greenhouse. They grow well on them there is no yellowing, they only need to be formed. And how to properly form in a greenhouse for a large harvest, I will demonstrate in my next videos. But in the yard, in the open ground, yellowing is quite common, and the first yellowing of the leaves, which I will tell you about now, is not terrible. As you can see, the whole tomato plant is green, but the lower leaves are not so green. It is pale, and can also be completely yellow. And this is because we grow tomatoes through seedlings, and these very lower leaves, they grew first on my seedlings, and since my seedlings were grown in a room, these leaves did not see ultraviolet light and direct sunlight. That's why it's so pale, and it doesn't work on this plant anymore, but only pulls juice, so we defy nightly remove these leaves. This is independent of what tomatoes we grow, low growing or tall. Or as they are also called determinant or indeterminate. Using pruning shears or scissors, we cut off these leaves. Here I will give you a little advice, be sure to prune the leaves on sunny days, and preferably in the morning. So that the wounds heal in a whole day. Do not prune before rain or in cold weather. The next yellowing that you can find on your tomatoes looks like this. As you can see, the leaves are green, and some on it are very yellow and dried, such yellowing occurs on seedlings that have not been tempered, as well as on seedlings and on those tomatoes that are watered by sprinkling, namely on the leaves early in the morning or during the day. When it is very hot and the sun is shining, water droplets remain on the leaf plate, and the sun's rays passing through these droplets create a lens effect, and cause burns to the leaves of your plant. And then the leaves seem to be green, but they have such yellow, dry spots. Therefore, if you do such watering, then your tomatoes may completely die from burns. Remember tomato seedlings, as well as adult tomato plants, we always water from a watering can under the root. Not by letter. And also if you did not harden your seedlings, did not take them outside in the morning and evening hours, when the sun's rays are not so hot, then best of all, after planting such seedlings in the open ground. It is necessary to shade it until new green leaves grow, which will already be hardened and will not be afraid of the hot sun. And these leaves with burns also need to be removed, if such burns are on the upper leaves, then you can cut directly only those small leaves on which there is a burn, and the other leaves will continue to work on the plant. It also happens that the leaves turn yellow, curl and dry out for very simple reasons, namely when the plant does not have enough moisture, when you very rarely water it. This will be immediately visible in the seedlings, it will be sluggish, and the leaves are small and pale. To solve this problem, watering should be done more often, and watering should be plentiful for at least 3 liters per plant. Well, with the last yellowing of the leaves, which I will tell you about now, you need to immediately take action if you see this on your tomatoes. And this applies to leaves that turn yellow at the very top, new, young leaves, and also if the seedlings themselves grow pale. This means that your seedlings do not have enough nitrogen, well, if you did not know, then I will tell you I will apply it. Tomatoes can often not be fed nitrogen, because they begin to fatten. The leaves begin to grow large, the trunk thickens, and at the same time the fruits are not tied in racemes. The flowers fall off and the crop becomes shallow. So I recommend that you use organic nitrogen, which you can prepare yourself. For example, collect weeds, soak them in a bucket for one week, and then feed the seedlings with this infusion. I recently released a video in which I showed in great detail how to make this infusion. Be sure to come to my channel and watch this video, and you can also feed it with an infusion of chicken droppings. I also posted this video on my channel. Well, such top dressing should be done once a season, in the spring. Then use complex fertilizers, which mainly contain phosphorus, potassium, and magnesium. Then your tomatoes will grow moderately and lay a large harvest. And tomatoes will be tied in each flower. So friends now go and inspect your tomatoes for signs of yellowing leaves, and take the necessary measures to eliminate these causes. I wish you strong seedlings, and a good day. See you in the new videos.